It is time for Beckett's from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we are going to do an unboxing, or yeah, it's already unboxed, but you get the point. And let's see what's inside the box when you're buying this Pandora's key number seven. All right, let's take a close look of what are we going to get with the box itself. It comes with a power adapter. This is a 12 volt, three amp power adapter. I think this is almost, yeah, this, this is the most casual power adapter they are giving you with these Pandora boxes. I live in the Netherlands, so I'm getting European cable. We've got a VGA cable, so if you want to use an old monitor. And yeah, it's got a built-in speaker, so because the VGA only gives a screen signal out. USB cable, 3 meters. Uh, if you just want to use it like an arcade stick on your PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC. A very long HDMI cable and yes, this gives the option to send out a signal of sound and display. We're getting some extra spare buttons. And yeah, if you have any problems, you can just swap them out. And the user guide, piece of toilet paper manual, of course. Oh, very extended this time. And uh, what's some basic explanation, how it works, how you can uh, remap buttons and that kind of stuff. All right. Let's take a close look at the stick itself. And with this 3D Pandora ski number seven, they did some changes this time. All right, a um, little bit of a difference are is that there is no home or menu button in the middle of it anymore. Um, you've got here your player one and player two start button. And it's also for insert in coin I've noticed. There is a coin button that also, yeah, you can be used for a coin button. But sometimes some games, I noticed that if you're pressing the one start, uh, play one start, it also gives you an extra coin. Uh, the pause menu button is the return button. So it doesn't matter what game you're playing. If you press the pause button, you can go back to the main menu. All right, yeah, six button layout. And uh, the same at both sides. So, all right. All right, and in this part we are going to check out what kind of quality buttons they are using. Let's start with the two smaller buttons, just basic buttons. They, I think you can find a lot of China in China, just not bad. They do uh, the trick. But I found something out with the other buttons because of course, as you can see, there are different colors, but if you hear closely, I'm getting the idea and if I'm touching the buttons, they use different qualities. These are the same quality, same brand. Got that really clicky sound to it. And this one, really cheap ass buttons. So they mix it up a little bit, or that is why I'm thinking of it. So yeah, not bad at all. Uh, I will not, um, yeah, I will not yeah, prefer that they have different kind of buttons. I really love to have one brand in my arcade stick. All right, that's maybe something I can change and swap to Senwa buttons. Mm -hmm. The stick itself, nice clickish. I really love it. Not a wiggle stick because I had a Kuma stick that had a really wiggle stick. It's playable, but it's something you really need to get used to. So yeah, let's take a close look at the back of the stick before we're going to try it out. All right, let's take a close look at the back of the stick. Did they do any changes if you look back at the previous models? Hmm, there is a on and off switch like a lot of models. Sounds like a quality button. 
Here we normally find the switch for powering on and off the lighter feature. That is one is gone. So if you don't like the yeah the the lighter feature, you need to cut it off inside because there is no way of uh, yeah turning it off. We got input for the power supply, HDMI, VGA, audio, volume button, little scroll wheel, configuration buttons. When I'm pressing, you're going into the configuration. And here we got the USB, where you can connect your, can, yeah, your Pandora to another device. All right, it's time to power it on and um, let's see what we're going to get. Kadama, fight! <laughs>
So for the final conclusion about the Pandora Key 7. I wanted to focus on the stick itself, how it is plug and play out of the box. What are you going to get? That was what I find very important in this review. Yeah, they changed a little bit here and there, like they give the button some other functionalities or they remove the button in the middle, that kind of stuff. Overall, internal, they did a lot of changes. The main menu looks amazing, really awesome. And they're even ripping off Street Fighter 4 soundtrack, so, so that is really next level. Yeah, there are 3D games. Um, if you take a close look at the 3D games, there are, I think, Dreamcast, PSP, and PlayStation 1, to be exactly. There is even a way of any new games, and maybe that is something for another video. But overall, what do I think of it? It's a really awesome product, I really love it. But um, yeah, they did a really great changes, and... Uh, yeah, there are a lot of little things that I would say on you can change it to make it better. There is always a way of an always in the wait for improvement. But overall, nice product. I really love what they did with the Neo Geo version. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I really like to respond fast as possible. And I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome wicked videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.